What's popping her? I'm going to show you how to make a three layer war zone clip to post to all your social media within a couple minutes. Let's get started. So we're using DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve is free. There is a paid version, but this version that I'm using right here is free. Once you get DaVinci Resolve, download it and you get to this screen right here. We want to add the clip that we want to use into this media pool right here. So I'm going to go to my videos. I'm going to pick out the video I want to use. Pick one of these, I guess. Make sure it has a face. Change project frame rate. You just want to hit change. The clip is in there. It changes automatically. It gives you exactly what you need. What you want to do is you want to bring your clip down to the timeline. This is your clip. Now you want to go through this clip and see what part of this clip you actually want to make that your actual video out of. So I'm going to scroll through a little bit and I'm going to see where I want my clip to actually start. Usually I keep my clips that I post to TikTok and everything like that around 15 to 30 seconds. That is the best time. So I'm just going to go around here, see exactly where I want this video to start. I've made this clip before, so I'm just going to kind of scroll through and start it where I started my last clip. So I wanted the clip to start right here. So I'm going to hit this cut button, which is going to cut the clip. All right, guys. So once we got the clip that we actually want, you can see on the timeline that it's about 20 seconds. So depending on where you're going to post this, if you're posting to TikTok or Instagram reels, then you want to make sure that we change the ratio of the video so that it fits it. This would be a YouTube version of it that I could post to YouTube and it will show um, widescreen like this. But we're posting to TikTok, so we want to make sure it fits the TikTok standard, even though you can post as a TikTok, but most people like that three layer video that you can just see everything right there. So go to file, you want to go down to project settings, and then you want to change these two things right here. You basically want to flip them. So for you want to do 1080 by 1920. I just hit all my hotkeys for my music. That's why all that just happened. So basically you want to flip those. You get the this view right here so it looks skinnier. Um, once we get that, we basically want to copy this clip three times so hit copy i paste it at the end and i just drag it to the top it's going to uh, create another track for you and you just want to do that twice so you're literally right clicking you're copying pasting it right here and you're just going to drag and drop it to the top so now you have three of these so now we're going to go to the edit tab and at the edit tab, you're going to see that you have three sounds because you have three videos. We don't need all three sounds. So just click on the bottom one. You're just going to hit cut, click on the second one, hit cut. Now that we have the three clips right here and just one sound, we want to use the top one as our webcam frame. And so what we want to do is make sure we click on the top one and then we're going to click on fusion. Once we click on fusion, it's going to take you to this screen right here. You can either do a square or you can do a, a circle. Most people do circle, but be different. Pick what you want to choose. We're just going to do circle for this one. So I'm just going to bring this over the top of my face. And then you're going to size it to what you feel is best. Some people have their webcam differently. Some people want to cut out stuff. So just kind of get it to where you feel is best. I think that looks good. Once you find that golden spot, now you want to go back to the edit tab. Once you're in the edit tab, these next steps are very important so that your webcam gets in the right spot. So make sure you're still on the, the first clip. It shouldn't click off because you just go back to the edit tab. You want to click on transform. Once you click on transform, you want to go drop down one to crop. We're basically going to crop our webcam out. You just kind of want to get a general area of it. It doesn't have to be exact or anything like literally just 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 that general area once you hit crop you want to go back to transform these next this next step what i do is i don't type anything over here i just kind of go with what i feel is centered what i feel is best some people put their webcam to the left some people put it dead in the middle and just for this one we're just going to put it in the middle so once we get to the transform option this long line right here is going to pop up to be honest with you, I don't know what half of these little dots mean and stuff like that, but I literally just moved this whole thing 
to about right here. Once I do that, I drag and I just make my face cam bigger. I just make it bigger. That thing is going to go away and I just keep dragging this up, making my face cam as big as I want it to be. And so now that I'm like, okay, I like this size. I'm going to stick it right here in the middle. And I think this is what looks good to me. Once you get done with your face cam, now we need to go to the second clip. Once you get down to the second clip, now we're going to type in certain zoom um, dimensions onto the side. So what I normally do is I use 2.14 for the second clip. Now we want to go down to the third one and we want to make this 3.5. Press enter. These two have seemed to be the best zoom in effects that give you the your initial gameplay and then just that back that we're going to actually blur out a little bit. All right, so once you've done that to your videos and zoomed them in, we want to go over to filters and we want to use Gaussian blur and we want to add that to the very bottom clip that we just did 3.5 on. So you just want to drag and drop it over there and it will do it for the whole part. All right, so once you've add the Gaussian blur, you go over here to effects and right here you can actually make it more blurry. So normally I do 0.6 and it makes it just a little bit blurry. So this is how you make a three layer Warzone clip with DaVinci Resolve for free. Once you get done editing, you wanna to go to deliver. You want to type in your title. So I'll just say YouTube example. And then format. I always change this to MP4. You always want to make sure you change it to MP4. Um, then you want to add to render queue. It's going to pop up. You want to pick where you want your video to go. Normally I put mines in clips. So I'll save it there. And then once you get over here, you're going to see that it says render all. So you can have several videos here, or you could just have the one video that you made. Hit render all. It will start rendering your video depending on how long it is. It's normally really fast. So you make that video between 15 and 30 seconds, this will zoom really quickly. That is how you make a three layer Warzone clip for free with DaVinci Resolve. Pretty simple and easy. If you have any questions, make sure you comment below, like and subscribe if you haven't for more Warzone and how-to videos. I appreciate all you guys. Have a good one.